Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Civil Engineering Shailu's Updates. Today we are going to see how to fix the construction cost per square feet while the construction cost varying from rupees 1200 to rupees 3000 per square feet. And also I will tell you one secret in this video that how much profit a contractor or an engineer would get while constructing a house. If you are ready to construct a house, the first thing what you have to do is consult an engineer. Give your house plan to them. House plan means it includes both the floor plan and also the structural drawing. And ask them to prepare a detailed estimation for your house. And also you have to tell them whether you are going to construct load bearing structure or frame structure. Frame structure means RCC structure. Which type of wood you are going to use for your house? Whether teak wood or any other kind of woods. How much amount you are going to spend for your house elevation work? Which type of flooring you are going to use in your house? Whether you are going to use tiles or marbles or granite. In this way you have to tell each and everything to the concerned engineer in detail. That engineer according to your need, according to your demand will prepare an exact estimation for your house. After seeing the estimation of your house, you will really get a clear idea about the estimation cost for each work of your house. You can conclude that oh only this much amount I have to spend for excavation work, only this much amount I have to spend for flooring work, only this much amount I have to arrange for elevation work, compound work. In this way you will get a clear idea about the construction cost of your house. And finally, you can itself fix the construction cost per square feet of your house by yourself. How you will fix the construction cost per square feet for your house? Now in your hand, you have the total estimation cost of your house. Say for example, if the total estimated cost of your house is rupees 20 lakhs and uh, the square feet of your house is 2000 square feet. If you divide this 20 lakh divided by 2000 square feet you will get construction cost per square feet recently we had done an estimation for 30 feet into 40 feet house that is 1200 square feet house i will explain with that estimation today so that you will understand it clearly we have divided the construction work into different categories in that foundation work is divided into six segments excavation footing and column Grade beam, basement brickwork, soil filling and flooring work. In this way, the foundation work is divided into six segments. Now let's see the excavation work. The excavation cost varies from place to place. In village areas, we can finish the excavation work within a day. But in city areas, we can't complete the excavation work within a day. Minimum it takes two to three days. We have to include the JCP rent for those days also. Usually we excavate up to 6 feet height. Considering this JCP rent and also the excavation height up to 6 feet, the cost of excavation work would be between rupees 20,000 to 30,000. Next work is footing and column work. Footing and column work we have to do from existing ground level to 3 feet height. That is up to basement level we have to do the footing and column work. The cost for one footing and column varies from rupees 9000 to rupees 10000. In this plan there are 16 number of columns. Therefore the cost of footing column varies from rupees 144000 to rupees 150000. Next work is grade beam. As per plan the running feet is 210. The cost of grade beam per feet would be between rupees 350 to rupees 360 per feet. Or the total cost of grade beam is we have to multiply this running feet into cost of grade beam per feet. That is 210 feet into 350 rupees. When we multiply this, we will get the total cost for grade beam as rupees 73,500. 
Next work is basement brickwork. From existing level to basement, usually the height of brickwork is 3 feet or 4 feet. The cost of basement brickwork varies from Rs. 30,000 to 40,000. Next work is soil filling. We have to fill the basement with soil and consolidate them. The cost of that soil would be between Rs. 40,000 to Rs. 50,000. This cost is for good quality soil. To consolidate, we have to use good quality soil. If we use poor quality soil, it leads to settlement problems and also poor consolidation. After the completion of basement work, brickwork up to 3 feet or 4 feet height, soil consolidation work, we have to do the flooring work. Flooring work means we have to do the PCC work, that is plain cement concrete. The cost of plain cement concrete varies from rupees 35,000 to 40,000. Until now, we have estimated the cost only for foundation work. If you add all those amount, you will get 352,500 rupees for foundation work alone. Next work is framed structure. It includes column, beam and RCC roof, that is slab. We have to consider number of columns as per plan. In this plan, there are 60 number of columns and the running feet is 210. And we have to consider the slab also. If we consider this column, beam and slab, we will get the estimated cost for framed structure is rupees 3,48,000. Next work is brickwork. To calculate the cost of brickwork, first we should know the number of bricks. How to calculate the number of bricks? Volume of brick masonry in wall divided by volume of one brick. We will get the number of bricks. The current rate of one brick is rupees 6. As per plan, there are 23,300 number of bricks. When we multiply this cost of one brick into number of bricks, we will get the total cost of brick as 1,40,000. Next work is plastering work. It includes both interior plastering work and also exterior plastering work. The cost of this plastering work would be between Rs. 80,000 to 90,000. Until now, I have not included the labor cost. I will tell the labor cost separately. Next work is doors and windows. For door, there are main door, bedroom door and also bathroom door. Main door, mostly we use teak wood. The cost of this main door would be between rupees 25,000 to rupees 30,000. Bedroom door. Bedroom door nowadays we are using flesh kind of door. For this flesh door, the cost would be between rupees 12,000 to rupees 15,000. For bathroom PVC, the cost of this bathroom door would be between rupees 3,000 to 5,000. Next for window. Generally, three types of windows are used. Wood window, UPVC window and aluminium window. UPVC has two types. They are sliding and opening. In this plan, we have used the sliding window. The cost of sliding window would be between Rs. 350 to Rs. 370 per square feet. We know that the average window size is 4 feet into 4 feet. One window size is 16 square feet. The cost of one window would be between Rs. 5600 to 6000 rupees. Therefore, the total cost for doors and windows would be between Rs. 140,000 to Rs. 150,000. Next work is staircase. Staircase means it includes Concrete for staircase and also handrail. The cost of staircase would be between Rs. 40,000 to Rs. 50,000. Next work is floor tiles. The cost of floor tiles would be between Rs. 45 to Rs. 50 per square feet. For pasting tiles in floor, it includes material cost. Either we use cement motor mix or adhesives. For that adhesive, Rs. 50 to Rs. 20 per square feet. Floor tiles means it includes a bathroom wall tile, kitchen wall tile, granite slab in kitchen, 
स्टार के स्टाइल्स एंड स्कर्टिंग टाइल्स स्कर्टिंग टाइल मीन्स यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर इट इज यूज इन कॉर्नर्स ऑफ बेडरूम्स एंड ऑल्सो इन हॉल टोटल कास्ट वेरीज फ्रॉम रुपीज वन लाख फाइव थाउजेंड टू रुपीज वन लाख फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट वर्क इज पेंटिंग वर्क पेंटिंग मीन्स इट इंक्लूड्स एक्सटीरियर पेंटिंग एंड ऑल्सो इंटीरियर पेंटिंग एक्सटीरियर पेंटिंग नीड्स मोर क्वालिटी दैन इंटीरियर पेंटिंग बिकॉज एक्सटीरियर पेंटिंग शुड बियर बोथ इन समर एंड ऑल्सो इन विंटर सीजन द कास्ट ऑफ एक्सटीरियर पेंटिंग इज बिटवीन रुपीज वन एटी फाइव टू टू सिक्सटी पर लीटर इंटीरियर पेंटिंग कास्ट इज फ्राम रुपीज वन थर्टी फाइव टू वन सिक्सटी पर लीटर दे फोर पेंटिंग मेटीरियल लेबर इफ यू इंक्लूड दिस द टोटल कास्ट फॉर पेंटिंग वर्क इज बिटवीन रुपीज नाइंटी थाउजेंड टू नाइंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इट इंक्लूड्स पर्टी एंड प्राइमर कास्ट नेक्स्ट वर्क इज एलेक्ट्रिकल वर्क फोर मेजरली यूज एलेक्ट्रिकल आइटम्स और वायर्स मॉडल और स्विचेस मेन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बॉक्स एंड ऑल्सो मेन पैनल बोर्ड दीज आर ऑल द फोर मेन इलेक्ट्रिकल आइटम्स वायर्स वी नीड वन स्क्वायर एम एम टू फोर स्क्वायर एम एम द कास्ट इज रुपीज सिक्स हंड्रेड टू टू थाउजेंड पर कॉयल मॉडल ऑफ स्विचेस द कास्ट ऑफ वन स्विच इज बिटवीन रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी मेन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बॉक्स विच इज रुपीज थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड पर बॉक्स फ्रॉम दिस मेन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बॉक्स ओनली द करंट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू ऑल द रूम्स मेन पैनल बोर्ड रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड पर बॉक्स वी हैव टू इंक्लूड पाइप्स बेंस एंड लेबर कास्ट फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल वर्क टोटल कास्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल वर्क वुड बी बिटवीन रुपीज वन लाख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू रुपीज वन लाख थर्टी थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट वर्क इज प्लम्पिंग वर्क वेस्टर्न क्लास इट इज रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड टू रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फॉर वन पीस वॉल मिक्सर वॉल मिक्सर मीन्स वी कैन मिक्स बोथ हॉट वाटर एंड ऑल्सो कोल्ड वाटर वॉल मिक्सर इज रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड पर पीस वॉश बेसिन रुपीज नाइन हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड हंड्रेड पर पीस शवर हेड रुपीज एट हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड पर पीस एंड ऑल्सो दिस प्लम्पिंग वर्क इंक्लूड्स पाइप्स बेंड्स टैप्स एंड प्लम्पिंग वर्क मेटीरियल्स Plumping cost for both material and labor is between rupees forty-eight thousand to rupees fifty thousand. Next work is parapet wall. Parapet wall means it includes bricks, cement, sand. The cost of parapet wall is between rupees twenty-eight thousand to rupees thirty thousand. Next work is waterproofing. Waterproofing is done in all bathroom floors, joints, corners, and also in terrace. The cost of waterproofing is between rupees twenty five thousand to rupees thirty thousand. Next work is terrace weathering. Normally, for terrace weathering, terracotta is used, but in this house we have used heat reflective and cooling tiles. These tiles maintains the normal room temperature. The cost would be between rupees forty thousand to rupees fifty thousand for this heat reflective and cooling tiles. Labor cost. As per plan, this house is thousand two hundred square feet. If we fix rupees three hundred to rupees four hundred per square feet, total labor cost would be between rupees four lakh to rupees four lakh eighty thousand. It includes labor cost for footing work, centering work, and also for shuttering work. Until now, the total estimated cost for this house is rupees twenty lakh. Seventy six thousand five hundred. In this total cost, the contracted profit is fifteen percent. Fifteen percent means rupees three lakh. And also, we have to include elevation work cost. The elevation cost would be between rupees one lakh fifty thousand to rupees two lakh. If we add total estimated cost, contracted profit, and also elevation cost, the total estimated cost of this house is rupees. Twenty-five lakh twenty-six thousand five hundred. Now we can fix the construction cost per square feet. We know the total estimated cost of this house is rupees twenty-five lakh twenty-six thousand five hundred, and also the square feet of this house is thousand two hundred. When we divide these two values, we'll get the construction cost per square feet as rupees two thousand one hundred and five. We can round off it to rupees two thousand per square feet. 
Now you know how to fix the construction cost per square feet. Why the construction cost varying from Rs. 1200 to 3000 per square feet. Remember that this estimated cost varies from place to place. It is not constant. Nowadays the material cost is increasing day by day in this lockdown. And also it depends on people's demand, their choice of choosing material. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shilu's updates. Click the bell icon. Share this video to your friends. And also, if you have any doubt, comment below in the comment box. And also you can mail me. My mail ID is shilu'supdates at gmail.com. We are doing 3D elevation work, floor plan and also structural drawings at affordable cost. If you want, you can call it WhatsApp number 93539 Thank you.